feel the second I see your eyes on hypnotized and wise to the games you're playing with me. The lies you tell, see if he knows the deal. Here are my pickups from the dollar store. I picked up a pack of allergy relief pills. Y'all know as of recently, uh, my allergies have been acting up on me some serious. So I wanted to make sure I stocked up on my allergy medicine. I also picked up two of the Studio Selection uh, Charcoal Deep Cleaning Pore Strips. Now, mind you, this is the brand that I have been looking for uh, every time I go to the dollar store. They also sell just regular white uh, deep cleaning pore strips but this is all they had and I was thankful to see this brand on the shelf again because it's been so long since I've seen it so I picked up two packs uh, both packs of six were about two dollars and some change I also got some more leave-in conditioner I needed um, another container of a uh, hair treatment or deep conditioner but they didn't have it so I just went ahead and picked up the leave-in conditioner I also stocked up on some toothpaste. I recently picked up two um, toothpaste packs just like this from another store. I saw these in the clearance aisle at the dollar store for a dollar each. So I just went ahead and picked up two. I got one triple action and one baking soda and peroxide. I think these are the same exact ones that I got from another store. The noise you hear in the background is Benji, so pardon him, chill. I also got some of this awesome bleach. Um, I was looking for dishwashing machine i'm sorry not dishwashing machine washing machine cleaner they didn't have it and i need to clean out my washing machine after we wash benji's bedding and uh, our cover chair cover that he's been sleeping on in our bedroom so i figured bleach was my best bet child i probably make some sort of a concoction so that way or a solution so that way i can pour it into my washing machine to get it all cleaned out once we clean benji's things and lastly i desperately needed some more dish detergent or dish soap so i picked up some from uh, the dollar store this is their brand true living and these are the items that i picked up from the dollar store i also got a mountain dew as well but y'all i cracked that open in the car so that's why y'all don't see it here <laughs> street from the gym praying that it's not as packed as i think it is as the crowd meter says it is because the crowd meter is giving two and i'm not quite sure why because it's a monday y'all need to be at work okay y'all need to let the folks that chose to take the day off do what we need to do like why is there so many people out and about on a monday like monday morning at that like <laughs> who who do i need to talk to but anywho, I hope you guys had a fantastic uh, weekend. I was about to say fantastic Sunday, child, but fantastic weekend. Uh, my weekend was pretty chill, did not do anything. On yesterday, uh, mom and Asia came over. Oh, child, the, the gym is a two. It is most definitely a two. Ooh, mm -mm. I think I might sit in my car and wait on, <laughs> wait on a couple people to leave because, yeah, yeah, it's definitely crowded. 
I don't get it, but okay. Anyway, um, I hope you guys had a fantastic weekend. My weekend was pretty good. It was uh, very chill. Mom and Asia came over on Sunday. They bought their dog Fenry over again. Hey y'all, if you're watching this vlog, um, and Fenry played with Benji and you know just had a time definitely living his best dog life and we had an opportunity to just kick it and chill with each other um, and after they left I mean I didn't do anything I just finished cooking I made a TikTok recipe or tried a TikTok recipe rather um, and it came out pretty good although by the time my dinner was done I did not have um, any appetite to eat child so i didn't i just packed up husband actually husband packed up his own lunch so i didn't even have to do that either so pretty much i just chilled. i do have my celsius here uh this is the second galaxy vibes me and husband did try this for you guys in the previous vlog and it's okay i give it like a 7.5 out of 10 it's nothing that i'm like super wild about but it's not it's not terrible it's not nasty if i had to drink it i would does it beat out uptime no like i'm still an uptime girly but i'm glad that i tried it and again this is my second one um so yeah if you're interested in trying it out or see it in the store i highly recommend it the flavor is sparkling strawberry watermelon <laughs> hello hello our workout is done pardon my hair y'all that's a combination of sweat because i just finished going hard and the wind is also really whipping we spent an hour 10 minutes and 50 seconds <laughs> in the gym yes okay it was packed in there i ain't even finna hold you and it still is very packed i am gathering folks are just taking off on mondays they were sick of it maybe they trying to recoup and regather from Sunday's uh Super Bowl festivities. I don't know, but it was it was it was real packed. But your girl got the job done and that is all that matters and also surprisingly I finished my Celsius. I know that is a rare thing cuz child usually I be real quick to be wasteful when it comes to those Celsius, but I finished it. Um, and I think it's I think it's just not necessarily the flavor, but because it gave me a boost. I don't know what they put in that strawberry watermelon. I usually don't feel an energy drink the way that I felt it today. And I'm not super endorsing them because I'm not a Celsius girly. I'm just being honest with y'all because I've never felt this before. And I know some people have said like I can feel the boost of energy when it hits me. And I, I don't. I don't feel like, a, oh, let me go ahead and get it. I just feel energized. I don't necessarily feel that boosted feeling. But today, baby, I was on the Stairmaster, first of all shout out to me just gonna brag on myself just this much okay D this much i increased my weights so i'm now doing 10 reps of 10 at 55 pounds upper body okay i know that might not seem like much for y'all all right but i am doing 10 reps of 10 okay so yeah your girl is increasing and i also increased on the stairmaster as well i was at a six i started at a three and now i'm at a seven 
progress yep come on through somebody with the progress super super excited um and happy about my progress get so overwhelmed with joy and get choked up and just so humbled and blessed and thankful when I think about my journey here on YouTube and all of the love that you guys have not only given me but have extended to my husband and my son whenever you guys see them on the vlogs my channel is not a family channel although uh, they do make very regular appearances on my channel i just we just appreciate you guys so much and is so thankful for every those of you who watch and like and comment and share and have recently come over uh, via other content creators and subscribed because you dug the vibes like we thank you guys for every single thing those of you who watch but don't comment those of you who share but don't watch like everything like i literally don't take any of it for granted thank you guys so so very much for allowing me to reach this milestone on my platform. I am excited to continue to grow, continue to be consistent for you guys, uh, continue to show up and be my authentic and raw and unfiltered self, hence the name Jenna Unfiltered, to give you guys behind the scenes footage of my life and to continue to include you guys in our lives, milestones, and just pick you up every day to interact with you 
and love on you through the camera and hopefully inspire you and make your day better and motivate you and just be your homegirl. Just to be your homegirl has been everything to me. And I thank you guys for what you all have done for me in my return channel. Not me getting teary eyed. Child, let's back it up, okay? Because we're going to work. <laughs> But y'all know, I give flowers, I give credit, and I show gratitude um, when it is due. And I appreciate y'all so much. Me and my family from the bottom of our hearts, of course, we gave all glory and honor and still do give all glory and honor to God first and foremost, because without him, none of the, none of the, none of this would be possible. But he worked through you guys to show us love in human form so we thank you so much for everything that y'all have done for us we appreciate it none of it goes unnoticed and we are truly humbled let's talk about this homemade hamburger helper for a second which totally slapped shout out to tiktok again for coming through again with a very quick and flavorful and bomb recipe um, I've never made homemade hamburger helper before. Didn't even know it could be done. But I mean, hell, at this point, I'm starting to really believe that all things are possible with TikTok, especially in the kitchen, baby. You can win. If you can imagine it, it's probably been done. Just go ahead and search for it on TikTok and add black people on the back. You might not even have to add black people on the back. It might just pop up. If you know what I'm talking about, <laughs> you're probably laughing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, what I've noticed when I search recipes on TikTok is that I can be trying to find, I don't know, a recipe for chicken thighs, right? Since put in chicken thighs in, in the search, like most popular searches, it'll say chicken thighs, black people. Have y'all noticed that? Or you could put sweet potatoes, sweet potatoes, black people. Like, listen, the people know we can cook, okay? Some better than others. But the point that I'm trying to make is the masses know we can cook. And I low-key think that it's funny that when I search for a, a new recipe, that at the top of the search engine, there's always that search that has what I'm looking for. And then at the end, it says black people. Do I click on those with the quickness? What do, baby, the search don't even be fully populated before I click because I just want to see my people cook. First of all, I want to give my people the views, number one. Number two, I want to see my people cook. Why? Because I know we're going to season it. Okay, we're going to season it to perfection. And y'all going to show me something that I ain't seen before because we created. We innovated. And I love that. And it makes me smile from ear to ear. So anyway, I digress. I saw Good Sis on TikTok. Don't know her name, but I am going to go back to that video and I'm going to pop her video on this side of the screen here so that you can see it. Y'all know TikTok videos is super quick, child. So don't blink because you're going to miss it. Okay, there you go. So <laughs> I saw her video, decide to try it, and it came out really good. Let's go ahead and get into our uptime. This is the sweet melon, like Isaiah says, flavor. Y'all know this is one of my favorites from uptime. Cheers. I hope you guys have a fantastic Tuesday. I'm definitely praying that you guys have good vibes, good energy, a productive and blessed day today. And I will see you all when I make it to lunch. Good afternoon, fam. It is 1.54 and your girl is on lunch. I'm currently at Chick-fil-A reaching for my wallet so that way I don't delay when it comes time to paying for this delicious meal. <laughs> that I'm about to order because y'all, I am starving. Uh, may I have the spicy deluxe, please? No vegetables. You want pickles on there or no? Uh, you, can, you can leave the pickles. What's your drink? On a Palmer. Ooh. Now, customer service wasn't trash. I ain't gonna say her customer service was trash, but Sis clearly isn't a seasoned Chick-fil-A Chick professional because she ain't asked me about my cheese. Madam, don't nobody want no dry chicken sandwich. I need cheese. Don't do that. Get in, get in the habit of asking people what kind of cheese they want. Anyway, <clears throat> excuse me, I digress. Work has been very very busy super eventful i don't have any meetings today to god be the glory because i feel like had i had meetings on my calendar in addition to having play catch up 
uh, for Friday's half a day as well as yesterday being off. Child, it would have been a whole lot, a whole lot. Of, and it's already a whole lot, a whole lot. Of, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying it has made for the day to go by very, very fast. So I am not mad at that at all. Hold on, y'all. <clears throat> yes. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. Ooh, we are back with our food. Get all of my sauces out of here, child. If y'all, this is what my sandwich is looking like. Ooh, don't it? Yeah, it do look good. I'm already. I'm knowing it's gonna buzz. I just Chick Fil A really doesn't fail me like that, so I go into the situation having very high hopes, putting ranch on my sandwich. But y'all can probably see the ranch under there. Hold on, let me get into it. breaking my god dog on a starbucks cup because i keep hitting the straw so let me let me push it back and hopefully i don't rub across it i'm sorry y'all but that that distracted me because i did it this morning too where i brushed my arm up against it and i'm like lord <laughs> this cup was way too expensive for me to break anything on it like i needed to stay in one piece so i'm just gonna set it up in my little catch-all area that is cleaned out because i was very serious when i told y'all i was gonna get all that paper all of those receipts out and scan them to fetch and i did when i made it back to work so hopefully the cup will stay there but anyway uh, i want to get really intentional about my oral health um i am good in the cleaning department the filling department and all of that but your girl has all four of her wisdom teeth i mean mouth is crowded okay <laughs> Nympho, wisdom teeth got to go like they gotta be evicted i'm serving eviction papers 2024 they gotta go and then i need to follow up with um some braces and or invisalign now for family members that have been here for a hot little minute this is not a new conversation this is just something that i'm revisiting because if you were with me um last year sometime when i went to the dentist i told y'all that uh i wanted to get my four wisdom teeth taken out and go directly into braces and or invisalign 
this year uh specifically i gave myself a goal by the summertime i wanted f I, I wanted at least to have my wisdom teeth taken out by summer and then you know work toward getting invisalign and uh braces of course after i heal from having that surgical extraction because the, all four of them teeth baby they embedded in there okay they been with your girl for life all right well up to this point they've been with me and they not trying to get evicted but long term i need to have those teeth taken out i don't surprisingly and i say surprisingly because a lot of people that i have talked to that still have or at that time had their wisdom teeth they said that they would have all sorts of problems to god be the glory i have not had any major issues with my wisdom teeth which is why i never thought that it was necessary necessary to take them out uh, right for wisdom teeth taken out that's a whole surgical procedure child and i ain't even for the whole job i'm nervous about it but if somebody was like we'll pull out for your wisdom teeth for free can you come today baby i'm <laughs> i'm clearing the schedule everything is off the table let's get it done so i'm nervous but i'm not scared enough to not do it because i understand that it's important so why have i not done it yet because the dentists be running people bags the dentists be trying to run me a bag okay let me just be specific because i don't know about y'all even though i heard a couple of y'all on y'all vlogs that have gone to the dentist and have you know had things that you needed to take care of financially with your uh mouths and what <laughs> what not that you've shared you've shared that it's expensive so i've just gathered that the dentists be running everybody a bag right but I think they quoted me like over a thousand dollars to have all four of my teeth, uh, wisdom teeth taken out. That's excessive to me. I don't think I'm gonna spend a band. Like surely there has to be, there has to be, has to be <laughs> a company out there. Like is that a price? So l let me let you in on my my mindset, right? I'm thinking I was quoted that price because maybe I'm out of network. I don't know. I don't know. But I need to do investigation. I need to like really look into it because it's no way in hell I'm finna roll over and be like, here you go. Here's my $1,200. And I wouldn't have to be in either very long. So if I had to do braces for the sake of saving a coin, which I am all about, child, I wouldn't mind. If they be clear anyway child who cares i'm still fine i was once told a long time ago baby you can't make somebody fine ugly so i just really don't be caring okay like <laughs> put the braces on it's it's okay at my big age put the brace but yeah y'all that's what i'm going to do and again i'm going to be super intentional about uh getting this done yeah I what's up y'all it is currently what time is it 8 13 we are out and about all up in these people's streets why because we're trying to try this new chocolate covered strawberry frap from starbucks this is a very much so impromptu um purchase i was scrolling on um instagram saw somebody try it and i love chocolate covered strawberries so i was like you know what why not and babe was down the ride and also try it with me so here we are your girl has not even eaten dinner at all so child just throw the whole throw, throw the whole getting my body into subjection hello yes ma'am throw the whole get my body into subjection in the trash because clearly in the trash in the trash because this drink is 410 you calories thank you the yes ma'am the i think the small which hell i don't know grande we'll call it that if it ain't my bad that's a 410 calorie drink and husband got the venti that's a large and i do know the venti is large yeah yeah so sir that's like that's that's over a g sir you just you just threw what you did in the trash no, I, I, I hope you love every morsel of this here chocolate covered strawberry frap y'all it looks so good online and i cannot wait what you laughing at because what if it's nasty I mean, but everybody that I've seen try it said it's good. I mean, I'm anticipating that I'm really going to like it because I really, really like chocolate covered strawberries. The only thing that would have made this uh, like a super duper ball out of the park drink for me is if it was white chocolate covered strawberries. I had to think about it because I thought I was sounding hooked on phonics. If it was white chocolate 
yeah most definitely because i love me a good white chocolate but that is yeah i'm so excited about this y'all i'm gonna pick y'all up there uh making it it's nobody here so literally they like whipping it up right now so it's gonna be real you fresh well too keep going what you mean because they finna head it to oh they finna head it to us Thank you. Have a great night. You too. It is currently 9 11 and your girl is in the kitchen wrist whipping why because <laughs> i'm looking hella moisturized don't mind uh like i said i'm in the kitchen wrist is most definitely whipping trying to uh make myself some very quick dinner uh which turned out to be some hash brown which are in the air fryer and some eggs which i currently am scrambling on the stove right now as we speak zay left out maybe about i don't know 35 45 minutes ago to go hang out with some friends bay is in the room just chillaxing getting his mind right for tomorrow um i've been uploading a video for you guys honestly i'm making i've made more work for myself than necessary um that's me just taking my hash brown out I've made more work for myself than necessary with this particular video that I am um, currently uploading into YouTube. And that is because I watched it back again. Why did I do that? Because it was perfectly fine. And I had watched it before I did the process of, you know, exporting it in iMovie and then uploading it to YouTube. But we did. We watched it again. Don't ask me why but i did and i saw something that i wanted to add thus me having to start the process all over again which what i should have done was or instead rather what i should have done was go ahead completely upload that video and start editing another one the video that i'm currently waiting on um in YouTube to be fully uploaded, if you will, for lack of a better word, if that's the wrong one, is Wednesday's vlog. So that's tomorrow's vlog. And so I'll start working on one tonight while I'm waiting on Isaiah to come back home. That will be Thursday's vlog. And then Thursday, Lord willing, I'll work on Friday's vlog, have that up for you guys. And so I can keep up with my rotation of giving you guys vlogs five days a week. Mm, yeah. But anyway, I just wanted to pick y'all up. That Starbucks drink, in my personal opinion, was like a mm, 7.5 out of 10. It was really good. Um, there are some like chocolate, like shaved chocolate pieces inside the drink, which midway through was starting to annoy me because I'm like, ugh, like I, I just wanted it to melt so that it can be smooth. So it is a textured drink. If you don't like texture, definitely stay away from it. Um, they definitely put a lot of strawberry syrup in mine, which initially I didn't particularly mind. And if I shook the drink up, which of course would have totally taken away from the aesthetic of it let's just be honest but if you shake it up then it'll probably incorporate more in the drink but those first few sips heavy on the strawberry okay i didn't mind but some people may but i definitely give it a, a strong 7.5 out of 10 i'd get it again zay also tried it as well and he said that he liked it but that's not a drink that he would pull up on child you know when we like something we go hard for it and caramel ribbon crunch frappuccino extra caramel extra crunch is our drink on this side of town like we get it every single time we go so something gotta be out the ballpark knock your socks off good in order for us to pull up and get that instead of our usual if that makes sense so i'm gonna go ahead and go plate up my food my eggs are done check them out check them out check them out oh wow yep check yeah 
Your girl did her big one on them scrambled eggs, child. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.